Now we're going to do some anchors on shore with webbing. These can be uh, trees or rocks or other objects on the side of the river. We're going to start with our webbing untied for the simple anchor. Go around the back of our tree and now tie this together with a water knot. And again, that is our simple anchor. For our basket anchor, we're gonna start with our piece of webbing already tied in a loop. Go around behind our tree and clip the two points together. If we're on a river where we maybe have really small trees uh, or we're just unsure of the strength of one of our anchor points, we can attach two together to make a load sharing self-protecting anchor. So for this, we start with an anchor on each tree. Then I'm going to take a third piece of webbing already tied in a loop and clip it into each point. And now I'm going to grab the middle And in order to make this self-protecting, I'm going to give one of these strands, it doesn't matter which one, a twist before I clip into it. So now we have a load sharing anchor. If our load moves in the river, it still shares the load. However, if one of these sides breaks loose, It's self-protecting. One really important thing when we're making a load sharing anchor is that the angle between these two points is less than 90. So this angle in here is less than 90. If it's more than 90, it's going to put too much force or too much strain on both of our anchor points. Okay, now for anchors on loads, we're gonna start with our anchor with one piece of webbing and three carabiners. For this one, we start with our piece of webbing already tied in a loop. We can attach our carabiners onto our attachment points here. And onto the second attachment point. And now we bring up the middle our twist to give us a load sharing self-protecting anchor. This is probably the fastest and easiest one but of course it uses lots of material. We've used three carabiners and one piece of webbing. If we want to save some equipment we could do an anchor with one piece of webbing and one carabiner. For this we start with our piece of webbing untied. We're going to start by going through one attachment point, through the second attachment point, and now we tie the two ends together with a water knot. And this saves two carabiners for whatever we might need them for on shore. Again, we pull up the middle, we still put a twist, and there we go. One piece of webbing and one carabiner. If we want to put an anchor on load and use even less equipment, uh, we could do the boatman's knot, which requires just one throw bag and one carabiner. For this one, we're going to start with a longish tail going towards our load. We're then going to tie our alpine butterfly Once we tie that, we could clip our carabiner to it and take our tail and go through one attachment point up to the carabiner, through another attachment point. And now to attach this to the carabiner, I'm going to tie a figure of eight on a bite in the end of my rope.
And that is my boatman's knot. So now I have a load sharing, self-protecting anchor with just one carabiner and my throw bag.